Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello. 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 Thank you, guys. How are you doing today? How are you guys? I am really happy to see you again. It's so fine, teacher. Awesome. Very almost good. We, almost we finished the That is true. That is true, Anna. We are almost complete. We almost finished with the level. Uh, so that's good. You guys, you did it. So you should be proud of yourself. You should be really proud because you came this far and you, you did an excellent job. I think that you guys have improved a lot. I think that if we, if we look back to the way that we were at the beginning and now uh, you guys are really doing better. Yes, Nadia, please go ahead. I'm sorry. I, I I have a mistake. Okay, no problem, Nadia. It's okay. No worries. No worries. Bueno, guys. Ya casi terminamos, ¿verdad? Qué triste y qué bueno, por un lado. Qué bueno que ya estamos terminando. Ustedes ya van a poder avanzar a otro nivel. Así que muy bien, muy bien por ustedes, de verdad. Eh, los animo que sigan así siempre y a ver si seguimos juntos o tal vez si están con alguien más y eh, si están con alguien más pues igual ya saben que ahí estamos siempre a la orden verdad por cualquier cosa thanks teacher you're welcome Francisco thank you uh, hello good evening how are you today teacher I'm okay I'm really good thank you for asking Francisco I'm just uh, um, I'm just a little tired I think because I have been working a lot during the last few days, but I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. How about you? Uh, okay, perfect. Um, me and student, um, como se decía poquito, a uh, poco, uh, a little, to me. I'll, uh, a little Thai uh, English um, in this score. Mm -hmm. um, eh, luego le envío un enlace para que usted también pueda practicar si gusta con personas americanas y, nice. y escritura. I will send that to the group. I am in a studying for, for, two, for two hours. Okay. Um, my English is very bad. I am three, die for die for die. Uh, however. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine, Francisco. I mean, if you keep practicing, eventually, uh, you will be really good. You just need to keep doing it. Yeah, for, yeah. for Kayan speak, uh, speaking for... Um, ¿Cómo se, eh, people, um, ¿Cómo se dice cuando uno ha nacido allá? Eh, ¿Nativos? ¿Cómo native, se dice en inglés? Native speakers. Ok, native speakers English. Y um, help, uh, and help me very much. Yes. Creo que okay. lo dije muy bien, que me ha ido bastante. Yes, excellent. Very good. Very good, Francisco. Okay. Yes. And if you want to share that with the, the, the classmates, that would be perfect. Yeah, that would be really good. I think that probably... The rest of the class will be interested in that. So yeah, thank you. Thank you, Francisco. Okay, thanks, sir. And, and you. Uh, later, um, is sending links to the score, mm -hmm. and you practice speed and uh, reading. Claro, si, si quiere practicar un poquito más, está bien. Sí, está bien, está bien, <laughs> okay, sí. perfect. No es sé bueno. si dije las cosas bien, pero I'm sorry. No, it's okay, Francisco, it's okay. Tengo ciertos problemas con... It's okay. okay. Yes, no, don't worry. And yes, we need to practice. I think that everybody needs to practice because, you know, when you learn a language, uh, there, is, there are a lot of words. There is a lot of vocabulary that we can learn. So we always need to be learning. That is the most important thing. I don't think that uh, anybody knows everything. I mean, we all have to learn every day, every day, guys. No, nope. uh, tomorrow will be the last class, Nadia. It is not going to be today, but tomorrow, tomorrow will be the last class. <clears throat> Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. It is. How are you doing today? It's nice. Excited. Excited. Excellent. Very good. Yes, I am too. I am too. I am excited because, like I was saying, uh, we are almost finished. 
you guys are almost complete. Okay, so that's really good. Really good, guys. Very good job for you. All right, so uh, for today, guys, we are going to talk about something new. Uh, people from admin, uh, people from uh, the people who manage the uh, this uh, basic level, uh, they said that you guys need to complete everything, uh, you know, all of the activities on the online uh, website. You need to complete those activities by, I think they said Friday. Yes, they said that you need to have a section five and also the final exam completed by Friday. So I think that you guys, if you haven't been able to complete that, you still have time. So you can do it until uh, Friday, okay? But it, it must be completed by Friday, okay? So just keep that on mind. All right, guys. Uh, <clears throat> so for today, we are going to talk about something new. We're going to see a new topic. Uh, yesterday, we discussed the be going to, uh, be going to form. And we were saying that that is something that we can use so we can talk about future, okay? Especially when we want to make a prediction, right? Like uh, we said that uh, sometimes we have uh, information, we have the certainty that something is going to happen. Like when it is cloudy, most likely uh, it is going to rain. So we can say it's so cloudy, I think it is going to rain because of that, right? So we practice that. Remember, I think that you guys did a great job yesterday. Everybody participated, so very good. Uh, do you have any questions on that for me, guys? No, teacher, for me, it's so very clear the, the, the farms to, to rules and the um, structure of the center. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget. I apologize. So, yes. So, I was saying that in this case, we have no questions. Uh, we know the structure too. So, that is good. Very good, guys. I have a question, teacher, aunque no es de, de en sí, de, de lo de ayer. Eh, nosotros llegamos hasta jueves o hasta el viernes. Eh, según yo. Yo sé, hasta el momento sería hasta el jueves. Eh, ya igualmente he preguntado para confirmar, ¿verdad? Porque a veces, eh, bueno, resultan algunas situaciones. Eh, por ejemplo, hay que re, re, reponer alguna clase o algo. Por eso decía. Sí, entonces yo estoy preguntando y vamos a ver qué nos dicen. Vamos a, vamos okay, a ver. Ok, perfect. Thanks. You're welcome. Yes, I ask, eh, actually today, you know, I ask, ask with anticipation so they can... Um, so they can answer and so we can be aware about what is going to happen because I don't want any surprises for you guys. I think that you probably have other things to do. You have uh, a schedule. So yes, I, I, I just ask and I'm just waiting on the answer at the moment, okay? So, all right. So guys, do you have any other question besides that? No other question. Okay, very good. So we are going to start. We are no going... teacher, thank you. You're welcome, Francisco. Thank you. All right, so we are going to start. I'm going to show you the presentation for today. So, well, welcome again, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate uh, your time. Thank you for uh, taking the time to be here today. So uh, today we are going to talk about this. Uh, this is going to be the topic for today. We are going to learn how to uh, take a message when we are talking on the phone, okay? This is a really important thing. I think that uh, sometimes uh, we don't know how to do this. Uh, you will see that it's really easy. I will show you guys and I will give you some uh, <clears throat> uh, some tips, uh, some uh, information that is going to be useful for you so you can do this. Ok, entonces ahora, guys, vamos a hablar de esta parte de cómo tomar un mensaje, cómo interactuar en una llamada, ¿de acuerdo? 
siento que es algo importante, algo que aplicamos. Entonces, les voy a dar un par de consejos. Vamos a ver algunas estructuras para que ustedes las puedan utilizar y las puedan hacer parte de su vocabulario. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces, eh, vamos a empezar con los objetivos. All right, so the objectives for today are the following. We have two objectives. We have objective number one, which is uh, we are going to listen to a conversation between two people talking on the phone, okay? Uh, and then objective number two, we are going to learn how to take and give a message using tell and ask, okay? We're going to see uh, how we can use uh, these two verbs like tell and ask so you can uh, get a message. So you can get, give a message to somebody, okay? So, eso sería de los objetivos, ¿verdad, guys? Vamos a ver eh, esta, este día eh, cómo interactuar en el teléfono, cómo tomar un mensaje utilizando el verbo tell y el verbo ask, okay? Vamos a ver eso. So, let me, okay, let me just go full screen. All right, so... Sure. Yes. Sorry, uh, I have I have a question. Uh, tell is in Spanish tomar o en qué uso se utiliza? No, tell sería Francisco sería decir. Es como Ah, okay, okay, gracias. Es como I'm telling you this, okay? Yo le oh, estoy okay, diciendo thanks. esto. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Okay, tell is that. Is that, okay? And then <clears throat> I'm sorry guys. Okay, so tell is decir and ask would be uh, it has different meanings, uh, but usually that would be like ask, uh, preguntar, or ask is también pedir, de acuerdo? Entonces, esos son los dos eh, significados que vamos a manejar el día de ahora. So, how to talk uh, on the phone? How to talk, uh, just a moment, guys, let me change it a little bit. How to talk to people on the phone? Okay, so how are we going to do this? Okay, so uh, we have uh, like a little definition here, right? So can somebody, okay, can somebody read this for me? I want you guys to practice, okay? So please, uh, okay, so we can have Carlos. Please go ahead, Carlos. Okay, English telephone conversation almost always start in the same way by introducing yourself mm -hmm. you can use expressions such as hello this is your name to let people who you are excellent thank you so much thank you carlos very good very very good aquí me hizo falta esto perdón guys to let people know who you are okay so entonces lo que nos acaba de leer francisco Dice que las conversaciones de teléfono en inglés casi siempre... Fue Carlos, dicha, fue Carlos. <risas> perdón. Eh, perdón, Carlos, sí, perdón. Eh, perdón, ya... I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. <risas> ya le estoy cambiando el nombre, ¿verdad? <risas> perdón. Este, entonces, lo que nos acaba de decir Carlos... Carlos. Eh, bueno, acá las conversaciones eh, casi siempre empiezan de la misma forma, ¿de acuerdo? Que va a ser eh, nosotros presentándonos, ¿verdad? Siempre decimos hola y habla de cierta persona, ¿de acuerdo? Eh, entonces, no, nosotros podemos utilizar expresiones como hola, eh, este es, y vamos a decir nuestro nombre, ¿de acuerdo? Like, in this case, for example, eh, we can say, hello, this is Carlos, or hello, this is Gadiel. Eh, that is so we can let people know who we are, okay? Because if you want to talk to somebody, and, or let's say that you are calling somebody, eh, Sometimes that person may not know who you are, okay? So you need to introduce yourself. You need to say, hello, this is, and you can say your name. And if, for example, you are calling like, um, let's say you are calling from a company or you are calling from a, some place, you can say, hello, this is, and you can say that you are calling like uh, you are calling from the health company, that you are calling for a car company. It can be anything that you want to, okay? You can specify, you can give more information so people can know uh, who you are and uh, who is calling, okay? That's really important, guys. All right, so uh, 
that is that is just an example, but this is like the most common example, okay? This is like the most common structure that we are going to use. All right, so then it says also, if the person who is calling does not provide his or her name, you can say, may I ask who is calling, please? Okay, may I ask who is calling, please? Uh, you can ask uh, the person what is his or her name, okay? We can do that. De acuerdo, entonces, eh, guys, digamos, eh, si alguien nos está llamando, nosotros podemos preguntar. Y siempre eh, lo recomendable es que tratemos de ser bastante eh, educados, ¿verdad? Que digamos, eh, ¿puedo saber quién está llamando, por favor? Si ustedes ven, vamos a hacer el uso de este verbo modal, que es may. Si ustedes se acuerdan, ya lo vimos anteriormente. Estuvimos viendo eh, can, may, and could, ¿ok? So, can, dijimos que era para hacer una solicitud, pero may, may es una solicitud de una forma más educada, ¿ok? Entonces, eh, cuando decimos, may I ask who is calling, please, that would be like a polite way to say it, ¿ok? So, you can sound more professional. So, you can sound like somebody that is polite, ¿ok? So... <clears throat> That, this is just an example, guys, but this, I think that this is a really easy way that you can do this, okay? So, <clears throat> then, uh, there is the next part here, which is that you can ask for details, okay? When you are talking on the phone, sometimes uh, there may be some information on the phone that you probably don't understand, so then you can ask clarification, you can ask for details. Okay, because, okay, it says here, even native speakers may have to ask people for repetition sometimes. This can happen when there is a bad connection or the sound is not clear. So don't be afraid to ask. Okay, no tenemos que tener miedo, guys. A veces eh, pensamos que por no molestar a las personas, eh, no queremos preguntar, pero es mejor preguntar y estar seguros eh, cuando nosotros estamos haciendo una llamada que quedarnos con la duda y luego puede que la conversación se vaya por otro lado, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso no es algo bueno. All right. So, then it says, we have some examples here, guys, that you can use. Uh, all right. So, you can say, for example, uh, sorry, I'm having difficulty hearing. Uh, could you slow down a little? Lo siento. Eh, tengo un poco de dificultad escuchando. ¿Pudiera reducir la velocidad un poco? pudiera hablar un poco más lento, eso es lo que estamos diciendo, ¿de acuerdo? Este verbo, slow down, es un verbo, eh, se le llama uh, phrasal verbs, and phrasal verbs, guys, are some verbs that sometimes they have a different meaning than what it is actually written down, okay? So, in this case, slow down, it is to reduce the speed. Okay, to do something slower. Okay, so in this case, it is uh, to talk slower, okay? Bueno, eh, esa sería una de las opciones. Luego tenemos la otra, que sería, eh, sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Could you repeat it, please? Eh, sería, eh, lo lamento, eh, creo que no, no entendí todo. ¿Pudiera repetirlo, por favor? Ok, si ustedes se fijan, eh, acá también estamos haciendo una, eh, una request, estamos eh, solicitando algo de forma educada, ¿de acuerdo? Siempre que utilizamos may I, could you, that would be polite, ok? It is more polite to say could you or may I, for example, that is you can, if, that is you say, can you slow down a little bit? That would be not as polite as could. Okay, that is the difference, guys. De acuerdo. Entonces, eh, recuerden, vamos a utilizar siempre could you, could you please, could you please slow down? Could you repeat it, please? Just like that. Okay. <clears throat> bueno, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta hasta acá, guys, antes de que continuemos. Entonces, acabamos de ver, básicamente. Podría repetirme, perdón, uh -huh. podría sí. repetirme el significado de called you, por favor. Sí. Gracias. Claro, claro, Francisco. Sí, eh, bueno, tendríamos, eh, como les mencionaba antes, tenemos 
can, may y could. ¿Ok? Entonces, could vendría a ser como podría. O sea, es como podría hablar más despacio. Podría, por favor, repetir. Es como una solicitud, pero de forma más formal. Ok, gracias. You're welcome. You're welcome, Francisco. So, let's see. De acuerdo. Entonces, vamos a... No sé si tienen alguna otra pregunta, guys, antes de que avancemos. No, teacher. No questions. Ok. Ok, very good. Let me go back. Ya vamos a practicar esto, guys. Ya vamos a practicar. Quiero que ustedes lo practiquen. ¿De acuerdo? Así que vamos a ver unas cositas más por acá. Vamos a ver. Tengo acá dos cosas más que quería compartir con ustedes. All right. So the next thing is that uh, sometimes when you are uh, talking to somebody on the phone, uh, sometimes uh, they are going to ask you to wait, right? Because sometimes uh, people may need some time uh, to do something while you are talking on the phone, okay? So when people ask you uh, to wait, most of the times they will say something like, hold on, okay? They will say, hold on, during a phone. It, so just like it says here, okay? It says, when people ask you to hold on during a phone call, they mean just to wait, okay? So if you listen something like that, or if you want somebody uh, to wait, because you have to do something, because you have, a, you need time, then you can say, hold on, please, okay? You can say that. All right, so then it says, when people are about to connect you with someone else, they will say that they will transfer your call or they will put you through, okay? So we have two options, guys. Let's say that uh, you come to the situation that you want to transfer uh, somebody uh, to another place, let's say, okay? Or to somebody else. In that case, you can say that you are going to transfer this person or you are going to transfer the call to somebody else or to a different place. Or you can also say, eh, I will put you through. That would be another option, okay? So we have two options so we can say this. You can say, I'm going to transfer you or you can say, I will put you through. ¿De acuerdo? <clears throat> Entonces tenemos eh, dos opciones, guys. Pueden decir... Eh, voy a transferirlo o también puedo utilizar esta otra frase que es eh, yo la pondré con esta otra persona, lo pondré con eh, este otro lugar. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces tenemos dos ejemplos acá. It says, hold on for a moment. I'll put you through. Okay, remember I'll. It's like there is an L at the end. There is an L sound. Like hold on for a moment. I'll put you through. Hold on for a moment while I transfer you. Okay, and both basically mean the same thing. Same Did thing. Right? I have a question. Yes. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll is the. It's um, como la abreviatura de I will. That is correct. That is correct, yeah. Anna. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, while, what I mean. Yes. Okay. So this is this word here. It it means mientras. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, you can say uh, something like this. Uh, there are other options, but yes, this is something that you guys can use. Okay, so you can talk on the phone with somebody. All right. <clears throat> I think that this is really important because um, there was a point where, you know, I had to talk to somebody on the phone and sometimes we are afraid. We don't have, we get nervous and then we don't know what to say. So I, I think that this is something that it can help you guys. Okay, so let me see. Let me see here. Okay, and finally guys, before we move on, uh, well, let me just do something first. Okay guys, en este momento les voy a compartir por acá, vamos a escuchar un video. Esto va a ser parte de la práctica de listening para ustedes. Vamos a escuchar el video en el cual se aplica bastante del vocabulario que acabo de mencionarles a ustedes. ¿De acuerdo? 
Entonces lo vamos a ver y luego vamos a discutirlo. Y lo vamos a practicar también, ¿de acuerdo? Quiero que practiquemos, guys, para que no, no nos aburramos, ¿verdad? So please bear with me for a second, guys. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to play the video, guys, and please pay attention, okay? Then we are going to talk about this. Everybody. My number is six four. Okay, let's see. Hello everyone, in the conversation we're about to hear, two verbs very close in meaning will be used. Once you listen to the conversation, practice it as many times as possible. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Ms. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, guys, so there we go. That is the conversation. Uh, I don't know if you guys want to listen to the conversation one more time or we can play it again, right? Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Sure. Uh, the American people, uh, como entienden eso cuando dicen two, uh, two thirty. Bueno, cuando dicen solo dos y media, por ejemplo, como el ejemplo de aquí. Oh. No escuché que dijera PM, IM, etc., mm -hmm. etc. Yeah, that is a good question, yes. So, well, I think that it depends on the context because let's say that uh, you are talking about a meeting, okay? The meeting, most of the times, I think that it would be during the day, okay? So if you say that the meeting is going to be at 2.30, most likely people will understand that you are talking about, you know, 2.30 p.m. in this case. Um, only if let's say there is like an exception they can say 2 30 a.m you know so i think that 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 is the reason why that's what i think okay por lo que entiendo que me está aumentando eh, según el momento que llaman así ellos lo toman entonces sí siento que es en parte en base al contexto la verdad porque, sí, porque solo le dice que le llame el viernes a las 2.30, pero no le decía PM ni allá, pero eso es lo que dije. Voy a preguntar, pero si ya viene ahí con el contexto, sí, pues y sí, ya está entendible. Uh -huh. Thanks, sí. teacher. You're welcome. Sí, es por la mayoría de las veces es por el contexto, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si es de un hospital, pues los hospitales, eh, digamos, a veces hacen citas para algún procedimiento cuando no es de emergencia, ¿ok? Cuando no es emergencia. Eh, normalmente los procedimientos los hacen durante el día. Entonces, eh, por lo general, solamente dicen, eh, okay, it's going to be at 11, it's going to be at 8. And people, most of the time, they just understand that it's going to be during the day. But if you don't understand, and if you want to, you know, if you want to make sure, Francisco, then you can ask, okay? So you can say, uh, so is it 2.30 a.m. or 2.30 p.m., okay? You can ask. You can do that. Yes. Yo creo que lo que pasa es que estamos mal acostumbrados que se prohíbe PM, AM en la mañana, en las madrugadas, por eso, pero sí, ya sí, usted con esa pequeña explicación ya, ya entra un poquito más contexto. Gracias, teacher. Sí. You're welcome, Francisco. You're welcome. All right. So we are going to, uh, well, we're going to listen again and then uh, we will uh, talk about this, guys. I will just play it one more time, okay? So let's listen to the conversation. Oh. <laughs> Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? 
My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Miss Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Very good. So as you can see, guys, uh, well, we have two people talking on the phone. Uh, well, the first thing is um, basically to introduce ourselves, okay? Just say, good morning. In this case, uh, he is representing the company, right? So in this case, he says, good morning, Parker Industries, okay? He's basically letting the other people know who is answering, who is, in this case, on the phone, all right? So then it says, um, hello, may I speak to Miss Graham, please? Okay, si ustedes se fijan, pues estamos siendo bastante eh, polite. Entonces utilizamos may I, may I speak to Miss Graham, okay? So remember that. If you, want to, if you want to talk to somebody on the phone, then you will say, may I speak to, may I speak to this person? And you say the name, right? So then it says, I am sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Lo siento, ella no está... Aquí. ¿Puedo tomar un mensaje? And, and he says, yes, please. Uh, this is Mr. Kale. Okay, lo que acabamos de ver, ¿verdad? Uh, se presenta, este es el señor Kale. Y como les mencionaba, si no, no tenemos claro eh, algo, nosotros podemos pedir información, ¿de acuerdo? In this, in this case, uh, he just says, is that G-A-L-E? But you can also say, uh, could you please spell your last name? Okay, you can be more polite if you want to. Could you please spell your last name? And then the other person is going to do it, okay? They're going to agree uh, to the request. So, and then it says, uh, tell her that our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Okay, esto es lo que les estaba mencionando ayer, guys. Cuando tenemos un día específico, ustedes utilizan la preposición on, ¿de acuerdo? On Friday, on Monday, on Tuesday. Also, you can say on the weekend, okay? Basically, the weekend is considered like, like a day too, okay? So you can say on the weekend. And when you are talking about a specific time, like 2.30, then you, said, you say at 2.30, okay? Cuando decimos una hora en específico, guys, en ese caso vamos a decir at, at 2.30. Okay, and then it says, and could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. Y dice, ¿pudieras pedirle que me llame esta tarde? Mi número es, y da el número, ¿de acuerdo? Okay, so guys, eh, I want for you guys to practice. So let's see, let me just show you something first. And then we are going to practice with this, okay? So bear with me a second, guys. Mientras estamos viendo el profe que ve Dragon Ball Z en YouTube también. <laughs> Excelente. Dragon Ball Z, quiero ver. Hombre, cu <laughs> go on. Let's continue, shall we? Now let's go over on how to take and give a phone message. Permítanme un instante, guys. <laughs> ya se enredó todo por aquí. Ya, ya este Francisco. El poderoso Ricky Morty también. Hay que divertirse también, guys. Hay que divertirse. Yeah, pero... yeah. Ya salieron todos los secretos del picho. Yeah, happy day. Ah, no, happy, day. Uh, happy night. Ya hoy sí, ya, ya todo. Ya, ya me exhibí yo solo. Ya nos exhibiste. ¿Verdad? Ya nos exhibimos. Ya me exhibió Francisco, ¿verdad? Así que. Claro, bueno. claro, también lo veo. Está bien, está bien. Vamos a ver, guys. Permítame un instante por acá. Ok, no problem, teacher. Vaya. Bueno, entonces eh, vamos a continuar por acá. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. ¿Cómo es tómese su tiempo en inglés? Era, I take, I take to your time, algo así, ¿no? You can say, uh, take your time. Take your okay. time. Okay, thanks. Just like that, yes. 
Okay, so um, this is what I wanted to show you guys. So now we're going to continue. And the next thing is this. So when, let's say that in this case, uh, when you want to leave a message for somebody, let's say that uh, somebody is not available at the moment that you are speaking or that person is not present, then uh, sometimes you may want to leave a message for that person, okay? So how can we do that? How can we leave a message? Okay, so we have these two verbs, the verbs that I mentioned before. We have tell and ask. You can use both of them so you can leave a message to somebody. Okay, so you can say, um, bueno, Bueno, eh, no sé si alguien lo puede leer mejor. Vamos a, para que practiquemos, ¿verdad, guys? No solamente voy a hablar yo. Así que, eh, somebody, please, can read this for the class. ¿Cuál quiere que lea? ¿La primera o la segunda? You can read both of them. That's fine. Ah, okay. When we want to deliver the message over the, over the phone, or we want to make a record, we can use the verb tell and ask to first sentence. We use tell when we have the state the statement and as when we have a request. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you so much, Francisco. So yes, so in this case, uh, it says that, you know, well, Francisco said, uh, when we want to leave a message over the phone or we want to make a request, we can use the verbs tell and ask to form sentences. Okay, so we can use tell when we have a statement and ask when we have a request. So how is this? Let me show you guys. Vamos a ver. Entonces vamos a analizarlo por acá. Se lo voy a mostrar otra vez. Vamos a ver. Vamos a pasar a otra parte, guys. Y luego vamos a regresar a la conversación. Vamos a irlo viendo como por partes, ¿verdad? Bueno, les quería mostrar okay. esto. Vamos a ver esto acá. Vamos a ir moviéndonos para que no nos aburramos, ¿verdad? <risa> Vaya, entonces, <risa> bueno, guys, les voy a reproducir este video y luego de esto vamos a hablar acerca de esta parte de tell and ask. Ok, so here we go. Message using the verbs tell and ask. Get your papers ready and take notes during the explanation. Page 103. Exercise 8. Vamos a ver. Permítame un instante, guys. Ahí está. Grammar focus. Messages with tell and ask. Statement. The meeting is on Friday. Messages with a statement. Please tell Anne the meeting is on Friday. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Request. Call me this afternoon. Messages with a request. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. Tell plus person plus that plus the statement. And because we want to be polite, we may add please, could you, or would you. Notice that is in brackets because it may be omitted. When leaving a message with a request, this is how we should do it. Ask plus person plus two plus the request. Again, we use please, could you, or would you to be polite. Ready? This is the statement I want you to work with. Our next class is on Friday. Please write three possible statement messages as shown on the chart. And this is the request. Meet me this afternoon. Again, please write three possible request messages on our discussion box. 
De acuerdo, guys. Entonces vamos a, vamos a revisar esto que acabamos de escuchar, ¿de acuerdo? Bueno, entonces, eh, si nosotros queremos dejar un mensaje para alguien, hay dos, dos formas acá, ¿ok? Tenemos la primera forma, que es cuando tenemos una, simplemente una, eh, una oración, ¿ok? Y tenemos la otra en la cual estamos haciendo una solicitud, ¿ok? Entonces tenemos the statement and we have a request, ¿ok? Eh, en el caso de que tengamos eh, simplemente una statement, como por ejemplo, la reunión es el viernes, ¿de acuerdo? No estamos solicitando nada, no estamos haciendo ningún tipo de petición, simplemente es, estamos diciendo algo, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, para estos casos, nosotros vamos a utilizar el verbo tell, ¿ok? Y cuando se trate de una solicitud, nosotros vamos a utilizar ask, ¿de acuerdo? Si ustedes ven acá, el ejemplo dice, call me this afternoon, ¿ok? Llámame esta tarde. En este caso, estamos haciendo una solicitud. Estamos pidiendo algo. Eh, yes, Carlos. Eh, sí, solamente quería saber qué significado tiene statement. Porque yo lo busqué y decía declaración. Sí. Pero no sé si... Sí. Pero algún otro significado o así se toma, declaración. Correcto, sí, eh, declaración, Carlos. Es como simplemente... Solo es decir algo, ¿de acuerdo? Es, no cumple otra función, sino solamente es, un, sí, solamente una oración, pero no es de, de tipo, por ejemplo, interrogativo, no es eh, tampoco una, no es imperativo, entonces simplemente es una declaración, correcto, una declaración. Ah, ok, thank you. Sí, no sé si queda claro, eh, a veces me cuesta un poco explicar esa parte, pero... Sí, es solamente una declaración, ¿verdad? No estamos, a diferencia de la otra que tenemos acá. Sí, teacher, está claro, gracias. You're welcome, Carlos, you're welcome. Ya, yeah, eh, así que para los demás, guys, eh, por ejemplo, acá en la siguiente oración, dice, llámame esta tarde. Allí ya no es un statement, porque aquí estamos dando como una orden, ¿de acuerdo? Llámame esta tarde, ¿de acuerdo? Esa es la diferencia. En cambio, en la primera oración solamente es The meeting is on Friday. We are just saying it. We are not asking anything. It's just a statement. Just like that. ¿Ok? Eh, entonces, para ese tipo de casos, cuando simplemente sea una declaración, como dice Carlos, eh, simplemente es utilizar el verbo tell. ¿Ok? Y para una solicitud sería ask. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces, eh, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver por acá. No, este era. Vamos a ver, guys. Vamos a estudiar una cosita más rapidito. Ok, y acá tenemos algunos ejemplos, guys. Los voy a mostrar. Ok, so we have some examples here. So, let's say uh, it says here, when you want to leave a message over the phone, you can use tell. Ok, the verb tell. And you can say, um, if you have a statement like this, the class starts at 3 or 3 p.m., then the message is going to be like this. You are going to say, please tell Andres that the class starts at 3. Okay? And then uh, another statement, guys, we have a party tomorrow. Then you can say the message, uh, could you tell Andres that we have a party tomorrow? And then the example number three. Statement number three, the teacher is not coming. Okay, en ese caso dice, would you tell Andrés that the teacher is not coming? ¿De acuerdo? Entonces, eh, la estructura, guys, va a ser la, la siguiente. Vamos a utilizar, eh, para ser polite, para ser educados, vamos a utilizar please, could you, and also would you. Okay, esa va a ser la estructura, siempre al inicio. Please, tell. Could you tell? Would you tell? Y así. Y luego va el sujeto. Please tell Andrés that the class starts at three. Okay. Could you tell Andrés that we have a party tomorrow? Okay. Y este en la en el video también nos decía de que esta parte se puede omitir. Nosotros podemos remover 
la palabra that, ¿ok? Y el significado va a ser el mismo. You can say, also, please tell Andrés the class starts at three. Or, could you tell Andrés we have a party tomorrow? You can say it that way too, ¿ok? And finally, you can also say, would you tell Andrés the teacher is not coming? So you can have all those different options. So you can say this. Then it's going to be the same meaning, guys. But again, it is please, could you, would you, y el verbo tell in this case. Okay? No sé si tenemos claro esta parte, guys. O hay alguna pregunta. Esto es para cuando tenemos un statement. ¿De acuerdo? Vamos a utilizar el verbo tell. ¿De acuerdo? ¿Qué pasa cuando tenemos una request? Okay, when somebody is requesting something. Okay, so in that case, uh, you will say uh, something like this. You are going to use the verb ask. All right, so we have example number one. It says, bring the sodas for the party. Okay, como estaba mencionando antes, aquí estamos pidiendo algo. En este caso es, trae sodas o trae refrescos para la fiesta. La siguiente dice, pick up my stuff from school. Recoge mis cosas de la escuela. And finally, it says, close the windows when she leaves. Okay? Cierra las ventanas cuando se vaya. Es como una orden. En todas las oraciones estamos pidiendo o ordenando algo. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces, cuando queramos transmitir ese mensaje a alguien más, ¿cómo lo vamos a hacer? Vamos a decir, please ask Andrés to bring sodas for the party. Or could you ask Andres to pick up my stuff from school? Or would you ask her to close the windows when she leaves? Okay. Si ustedes ven, siempre se mantiene eh, prácticamente esta parte de la, de la oración original, ¿verdad? Acá, pick up my stuff from school. Bring sodas to the party. It's the same as the original sentence. Okay, we're just adding this. Please ask Andres too. Could you ask Andres too? Would you ask her too? Okay, solamente estamos agregando esto y a continuación va la oración original, en este caso. Igual que acá. Please tell Andres the class starts at three. Okay. Could you tell Andres we have a party tomorrow? Would you tell Andres the teacher is not coming? Okay, so that is the structure, guys. Do you have any questions about this? Y siempre se tiene que usar esas, esas requerimientos o se puede hacer algún cambio. En algo... ¿Cómo, ¿Qué tipo de cambio, Francisco? O sea, siempre se tiene que decir... Um... Uh, ¿Cómo era la primera? <ríe> uh, eh, como recordatorio y todo eso, siempre se tiene que utilizar la... Ajá, ¿Cómo se? Uh -huh. stay undressed the class starts at 3 p.m., por ejemplo. Uh -huh. sí, oh. eh, sí, bueno, eh, lo recomendable es hacerlo así, ¿verdad? O usted pudiera solamente decir, tell Andrés that the class starts at 3. You can say that. Eh, pero lo vamos a hacer como más educado. ¿Verdad? Entonces, oh, okay, okay, okay. Pero Thanks sí se podría. You. You're welcome. That is because we want to sound like more professionals, because we want to sound polite. That is the reason why. Ok, entonces vamos a volver por acá. Les voy a mostrar esto y vamos a practicar, guys. Bueno, entonces acá, si ustedes se fijan, ahora pues ya tiene más sentido, ¿verdad? Creo que ya lo entendíamos, pero ahora incluso más. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces, it says, please tell her Our meeting is on Friday, ¿ok? Por favor, dile que nuestra reunión es el viernes, ¿ok? Entonces acá, como estábamos diciendo, eh, esto proviene de una statement, ¿ok? The statement would be that the meeting is on Friday, ¿ok? So then, please tell her our meeting is on Friday. And then it says, and could you ask her to call me this afternoon? Ok, aquí estamos haciendo una solicitud, a request. Ok, that is the reason why we are using ask. Ok, could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 
555-4031. Okay, and you can also say uh, 4031, guys. Okay, you can replace uh, zero by O sometimes, okay? Especially when it's on the middle. So, okay, in este caso, como estamos haciendo una solicitud, en este caso estamos utilizando ask, ¿verdad? Pudieras pedirle que me llame esta tarde y así. De acuerdo. No sé si hay alguna pregunta, guys, con respecto a esto. Vamos a practicar ahora. No questions. Okay. Very good. So, guys, we need to practice. And I want you, like we always do, uh, you can, let's say, just volunteer. If somebody wants to participate, uh, you can just raise your hand. We're going to do this in couples. So you can practice this, okay? Me, teacher. Thank you. So we have Carlos and Ana. Okay. Huh? I am the secretary. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> Very good. Yes. Okay. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello. My, may I speak to Mr. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please, All right. <laughs> please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2 30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646 555 4031. 646 555 4031. Yes, Mr. Kell. I'll give Mr. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Very good. Very good job, guys. Thank you. Yes. Excellent. Thank you so much. And muy bien. Muy, muchas gracias, de verdad, Carlos y Ana. Este, bueno, solamente un par de cosas, ¿de acuerdo? Acá, eh, si ustedes se fijan, dice, hello, may I speak to Miss Graham? Okay. Eh, probably it's not as clear as it should be, but here eh, it is a lady. Okay. Miss, Miss Graham, please. Then he says, I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Uh, but the rest is perfect. The rest is very good. So that's the only thing that I wanted to say. That's the only thing I wanted to mention, guys. Then let's see. Thank you, Teach. Thank you, Anna. Thank you. All right. So somebody else? Anyone else, guys? Francisco, do you want to be the secretary? Okay, hello. <laughs> okay, bueno. Ahí viene eh, Jacqueline. Oh. Entonces, Jacqueline y Francisco, ¿verdad? Okay, Vamos. no problem. <laughs> Good morning, Parking District. Good morning. Hello. Hello, may I, may I speak to Miss Granham, please? I'm sorry, Sina, can I take a missing message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G A L E? No, it's K A L E. All right. Sister her our meeting in is on Friday at Friday, I two three, sure. Um, creo que canceló la llamada. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Gill. Gill. Desconectó la llamada. Um, uh, hello. No hay problema. Eh, va, lo vamos a terminar. Next. Lo vamos a terminar nosotros. Next. Francisco. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay. Entonces vamos a continuar. ¿Dónde se quedaron? Uh, Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. Okay. 30, perdón. Okay. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 
Five 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 four zero three one. Six four six five 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 four zero three one. Yes, Mr. Kale. I will, Mr. Graham. The message. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you later. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you. For I'm sorry. No problem. It's okay, Jacqueline. Don't worry. Yes, that that happens. Okay, so that's fine. Don't worry. Very good. Yes, very good, guys. So, vamos a ver. Eh, sí, creo... siento que me equivoqué como dos veces. Estoy casi seguro. Sí, eh, bueno, Francisco, eh, me gustó bastante la parte de cómo deletreo. Está muy bien, la verdad. Se nota que se puede las letras muy bien. Está bien. <risa> Ni tanto. <risa> o al menos acá le salió bastante bien, ¿verdad? Ah, oh, ya, ya, ya. Ajá. Entonces, eh, pero... Bueno, hay algunas cositas, ¿verdad? Que podemos ahí eh, mejorar. Por ejemplo, Cherty me costó. Friday. Si no me, me acuerdo. Friday. At 2.30. Um, ok. Friday. At 2.30. Ajá. At ahí me equivoqué. 30. Y message. Message. Mm -hmm. me, me equivoco mucho también. Can I take a message? Yes. Uh -huh. You can. Also that part. Yes. But everything was good. Yep. We can just practice more. And I think that eventually uh, it will be easier for us, right? So we need to keep okay, practicing, teacher. guys. And okay, especially teacher, these things. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Francisco. Okay, so uh, somebody else? Anybody else that wants to participate, guys? Podemos nominar? <laughs> sería, sería bueno, la verdad. Sí. Porque yo nominaría a Ana, Ana, Ana Noemí, a, no, a, Ana ya. Por ejemplo, Ana ya. a Iri Regina, a Carlos, a los sí. dos Carlos. <laughs> Está bien, está bien. Bueno, eh, ya. Okay, okay. teacher. Bueno, entonces eh, tenemos Repetición acá. Repetición de, de Francisco. Next. Okay. <laughs> bueno, entonces eh, Jenny y Luis. Very good. So Jenny, eh, you will be the secretary and Luis teacher, will be oh, sorry. Mr. Kale. Eh, me apareció un mensaje aquí que decía la anfitrión quiere que reactive el audio. No, no. Eh, no, en este momento no, Francisco. Así que oh, ya. Okay, sorry, eh. sorry, sir. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, good morning, Parker. Hello. May I speak to Miss Graham, please? I'm sorry. She's not. She's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G A L E? No, it's K A L E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646 four, six, five, Five 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 four zero three one. Yes, Mr. Kelly. I give my my Mr. Graham, Miss Graham, the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Very good. Okay. Very good job, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. You did an excellent job. Thank you, guys. Very good. Very good. I liked it. I liked it. So very good, guys. Okay. So we have Iris. She wants to participate. Somebody that can do it with Iris, please. Okay. Okay, if there, is, if there is nobody, Iris, then I will do it with you, okay? We will do this together. So that's okay. that's good. You can you can start. Go ahead. Good morning, Parket Industrial. Hello, my name is uh, hello. May I speak to Miss Graham, please? I am sorry. She is not it's can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G A L E? No, it's K A L E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2 30. Friday at 2 30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646. Five 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 four zero three one. 
Yes, Miss Carl. I give Miss Graham the measure. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you. It is. Thank you. So just a couple of things. Uh, okay. Yes, Mr. Kale, I'll give Miss Graham the message. Okay. Miss Graham I'll... the message. The message. 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 Yes. Okay. Message. I'll give Miss Graham the message. Okay. Okay, yes, that, that's the only thing. Eh, in esta dos teacher, eh, que sería I will is I give you, un solo. Mm -hmm. Sí, en este caso, eh, como está okay. en la forma contractada, se tiene que decir I'll give Miss Graham the message. I'll give Miss Graham the message. I give. I'll. I'll. Uh -huh. I'll give Miss Graham. I will. Miss... Okay. Mm -hmm. I will. Uh -huh. eh, solamente acá va a hacerlo con la letra L. Acá en I'll. Y luego give. I'll, I'll give okay. Miss Graham give. the message. Okay. I give Mr. Graham the message. Uh -huh. Ahí está un poco mejor. Tenemos que practicar un poco más. Eh, pero sí, así sería. I'll give Miss Graham the message. Y también se puede poner en vez de contractar I will de un solo o siempre tiene que ir contractado I, I'll give. ¿Sí? Por lo general, eh, cuando se habla, por lo general, casi siempre es contractado. Pero también se puede, de, de la otra forma, se puede decir, I will give Miss Graham the message. Both options are fine, but most of the times when people eh, talk, they just uh, use contractions. Most of the times. Uh, okay, thank you. You're welcome, it is. Okay, so guys, eh, do you have any other questions about this? Good morning, Parker. So this is what we've done today. Uh, today we discuss um, how to talk on the phone. We also talk about uh, how to give a message to other people uh, using tell and ask. We discuss those two options, okay? Tell is for statements and ask is for requests, okay? That will be the summary about what we uh, learned today. So. I don't know if you guys have any questions on this. No teacher. No, no question. Teacher. Okay, so if you don't have any question guys, this is going to be it for today. Uh, thank you one more time. And I will see you guys tomorrow. So you guys have a great evening. Good night teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night teacher. Good night teacher. Good night guys. Thank you for all. You're welcome.